There is an art form for each taste, from the visual arts to the audio arts form. Art Museum, ah, the last bastion of culture, refinement and composure. But wait, what? Not anymore, say the children. Natural curiosity and a visit to the museum will convert this bastion of culture and refinement into a place to have fun and learn at the same time. Jessica Gauthier, Community and Family Programs Coordinator, told us the reactions from the children. We have a lot of families, especially on Sundays. We have the Art Ventures program. It's free to the public. So you see a lot of families come in with their children and all ages, all ages come in. Before they became the great artists you see at the museum, they had their start somewhere and the children experienced a transformation oh, okay. at their visit to the museum. Well, usually when they come in, they're very quiet. They're just taking everything in and they get more comfortable throughout. They start to ask a lot more questions. They volunteer what they're thinking, which is great. We try to pull that out of them. The museum not only provides families with a safe learning environment on weekends. There are day camps during the summer. We have three. We actually have two that run for a full week. There's the young, uh, the whimsical wonders, wonderfully whimsical, and it's a half day camp. And we have a full day camp for a week, which is far out fantastic. And there are different age groups. The half day camp is for ages six to nine. And the full day camp is for ages, uh, I believe it's nine to 12 or 10 to 12. This program is an excellent opportunity to bring your preschool age children to the museum's activities and for parents to share in their creativity. And the cost for members is $50 for one child and one adult and each additional child is $15, $60 for non-members, and $20 for each additional child. Registration is required by calling the museum at 610-432-4333, extension 132. Even as young as elementary school age, children already have an opinion about what goes into thinking like an artist, and that is exactly what the day camp is going to teach our children. I really like painting and like sculptures and like how artists like do their, like how they do it mm -hmm. and the way they do it. We're supposed to be making these animals out of like a box and you mix two animals together. So what I was doing, I was doing a frog and a wolf. An important step in their development and getting used to thinking outside the box, but they also learn teamwork. Uh, well, the people that sit across from me, we were doing, we were like brainstorming together and they said I should do that, so I said it would be a good idea and I did it. Uh -huh. The opportunity to learn from one of the best artists in the modern world, who is currently presenting at the museum's At The Age exhibit. Victor Stabin, whose style identifies as eco-surrealistic, bringing the world of fantasy inspired by other species and his own family. Victor is a resident of Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania keeping up with the museum's intention of showcasing local artists. Everyone is invited, but if you cannot afford it, the museum staff will try to help. Yes, definitely. Um, they just have to apply, and they can call us here at the museum, and we'll send them out a scholarship form. So, for this summer, take Jessica's advice. I would tell you that right now our At the Edge, Art of the Fantastic exhibition, would totally blow their mind away, they would not want to go back to video games. Or perhaps better, put by a nine-year-old Addison Hamilton. Hey dude, you should go to the Allentown Arts Museum. It's really awesome.